Hello, it's Flo for Hot to Come. Um, I know this is not video about uh, how a worm is working, but I just want to show you when something wrong is happen with uh, a worm, what you, you can do. So my phone is uh, located. I can do nothing. I'm waiting for from maybe 10 or 20 minutes and nothing happened on the screen. So I just have to do something. I can't pull off my phone. Look at that, I can't. It's not possible. Um, I just can't. Okay, I just I can do it and nothing happens. Okay, there is only one thing to do when it's like that. You have to remove the battery. Okay, so I remove the battery like that. Okay, my phone is here. And now, if I uh, if I want to do something, first thing is to restart the phone. I know nothing will happen. Uh, this is the same. The RAM is not working, and I can wait for a lot of minutes, and it's always the something. So I don't want to to wait for that, and I remove again the battery. Look at that. Battery is removed. No, I can go to the recovery, and I want I have to test to flash the same or another one. So let's go to recovery. Right here, recovery. Okay. Hey, <laughs> no, it's working. First thing is to do a full wipe. How to do a full wipe? Go to wipe and format and go to wipe data factory. Okay. Then it's clean. Okay. Wipe cache. Okay. Done. Now you can go to install from SD card or you can, for example, restore. Uh, a late, uh, a late, uh, late backup, or you can go to install from SD card and choose the same or another uh, zip file. Uh, I have to to try by with this one, for example, ROM, ROM, and here I can switch by with Android Revolution, AG, for example, iSense Beta, uh, Primo S, Lord Mode. RDMUE, Smart Venomous, I can switch with uh, another one to, to try if it's working. For example, uh, what is the, the fast, for example, I can try with this one and I have to, to show you just after it. Okay, Primo S version 3.0 and let's go. I am installing a new one. For marching system, clearing Delvic and boot cache. Deleting legacy relocated app directory, mm. installing system files, and we wait. During this time, you can go to the internet and search for videos and a lot of things, which is the best room and uh, the best room. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, it can take a lot of time, but it's doing. Okay, so this you can see a lot of information here. This is HTC One vSense 4.0 port. Mm, it's uh, available for Desire S, HD and Inspire, but not for Desire Z, for example. It's developed by Prox user, and uh, we have to thanks for Virtuous Team, Low World, uh, and Blackout Team, for example, and all XDR community, you and me and everybody. Okay, and install from SD card is complete, and now you can. Just restart the phone and I have to reboot it. No, okay, and let's go.
<coughs> this video is available for HTC Desire HD but for over over phone over HTC for example and you see it's working now I am on uh, an over boot anim and this is uh, HTC uh, Primo S uh, boot anim you can see this is not an HTC one this is HTC Desire HD but uh, we are, are trying to to see new new version of uh, HTC Sense 4.0 for HTC Desire HD for example and Desire S and Inspire 4J. This is the step first reboot, so it makes maybe one or two minutes. But ten or twenty minutes is too long to 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 wait, and you can say no, it's uh, too much too many time, and uh, just turn off your phone, remove the battery, and do what I, I have shown you. Okay. I don't know what I can say. Yeah, you can go to HTC Hot to come, and if you are French, you, you can play to to our new game to try to one uh, HTC One X. Okay, so this is done. The phone is unlocked and uh, is it not? It's not break. And uh, let's go to to play with it. Enjoy your phone. This is for for Hot to come. I just have to wait. This screen is. Off because you can say oh it's not working I don't know yeah okay you can see it's working yes please it's working okay it's working <laughs> I have to let you bye